Virgo. Hi Virgo, how are you? I am your fellow Virgo Ash, back to do another reading for you. I thank you for being here Virgo, thank you for rocking with a girl like me. Hope that you have a fantastic day. Thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes Virgo. I most certainly appreciate you. If you are on Patreon, I will be back tomorrow, okay? I just had to take a little break, alright? But I shall return tomorrow, okay? Let's just see what's happening. Let's just see what's going on, okay? Let's just see, Virgo. And I thank you for all your patience, baby. Thank you for working with a girl like me. Okay, so regret, Virgo. Someone is in regret. They say, I regret walking away. I wish I knew then what I knew now. So, Virgo, somebody is all in their head over the decisions that they have made, over the things that have happened, the things that have gone on, Virgo. It feels like someone says if they could kind of turn back the hands of times, they would, okay? It kind of feels like if they could do things all over, if they could do things completely different, baby, you better trust and believe they would. I don't know if this is somewhere who kind of wears clothing that's fit to their body, that's fit to their shape. This could be someone who has a sleeve, Virgo. They could have some type of tattoo, whether this is like uh, a big tattoo, a small tattoo, could be on their arm, their shoulder, okay? But it kind of feels like someone is all in their head. Someone has a lot of regrets, okay? It's like they say they wish they knew then what they know now because things will be different, okay? Now, I don't know if someone is going swimming, Virgo. Someone could be wearing like some blue swim trunks or something like that. They could be kind of going to the gym. I don't know if they're looking in the mirror at their body, Virgo. I'm not sure if someone doesn't like what they see. But it says angry. I'm angry at myself and sometimes even you for how things turned out. So, Virgo, someone is mad because I, I, I guess they wanted things to be different or they didn't want it to be this way. So, they say that sometimes they get angry at you. And even themselves, because it's like maybe and they, they didn't expect it to be this way. You know, the way that things kind of turned out, they had a different image for themselves. And again, like I said, it just feels like it didn't go that way. So, I don't know, maybe sometimes this person gets upset or this person shuts down. Or again, I don't know, they seem to have some type of anger or built up frustration that they're dealing with as well when it comes to this particular situation. Okay. And it says, incomparable, you always get this. No one has ever made me feel the way you do. You're irreplaceable. So the thing about it is, Virgo, there's all these people around this individual. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, it may not be eight people. It could be two. It could be four. But again, like I said, it doesn't matter how many it is, Virgo. It's like nobody compares to Virgo. It doesn't even add up. It's really, really, really given that it's not the same. Okay, it's not the same at all. So it just kind of feels like, Virgo, I don't know. Someone says they can't get over you. Your energy is just unmatched. Your energy is one that just cannot be replaced. No matter how many people you try to, you know, fill or get to fill that void. It just doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't work. It's giving dry. It's giving that was a no. That was a no. That was a no. Like nothing worked. Okay. So I don't know who this is, Virgo, but it just feels like all them energies they had around them, like I said, it didn't work. You're irreplaceable. No one has ever came even close to the way that you make them feel. And Epiphany, I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left me, okay? So someone is going like going through all of these different emotions, Epiphany. They're having epiphanies. Now they're kind of in regret. They have this anger. I'm kind of realizing for some of you that you could be the one for them. But it says, I didn't realize, I didn't know how empty my life was until you left me, okay? I just wasn't sure. So now all of a sudden... They get it. And, you know, sometimes it makes absence or it takes absence to make, you know, the heart grow a little fonder, to make the heart grow a little bit more appreciative, a little bit more humble. So it's kind of like now someone gets it. You know what I'm saying? It's like they appreciate your your presence now. It's not even your absence they appreciate. It's your presence. They get it. They get all of the value that they bought that you brought to that. Like they get how much you meant to them. When at first Virgo, they may not have even understood May not have even been able to comprehend, but they get it now. Okay, so what's the energy surrounding this spirit? You have cards just keep popping out, Virgo. Cards that keep falling out. Okay. 
Okay, sorry it was taking me so long. Okay, so Virgo, it kind of feels like for where you are right now, um, if it doesn't matter what relationship it is, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your lover, your friend, your aunt, your uncle, the neighbors, the dogs, whatever is getting on your nerves, um, it's just at the point right now where you are like, I don't have time. And I'm not, God, I'm just reading the cards. The Six of Swords, baby, it's very much given that in a way you could have felt that something was holding you back. Or in a way, Virgo, you could have just felt like, you know, someone here is just messing up the energy. Or someone here is just creating a lot of burdens, a lot of drama, a lot of negative energy. It kind of feels like for where you are right now, Virgo, you are going through this transformation. You are working to relieve yourself, like, of anything that holds you back. You could feel like there's something that's keeping you stuck or something that's keeping you from being unable to move forward. But it kind of feels like you feel held back. Um, and so you don't want to feel held back. Or there's some type of negativity surrounding a situation and you feel like, why am I doing this? Why am I wasting my time? It feels like there's something that's messing up your energy. It feels like there's a situation in which you feel that you are unable to have peace. You are unable to grow. It feels like it comes with a lot of baggage, a lot of burdens, a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if this affects your energy, this affects your mood at times, but it kind of feels like you've been going through this energy where you've been doing a lot of reflecting, a lot of evaluating, and maybe trying to get to the source of something. So now that you're getting to the source of it, you're able to move forward or you're able to heal, you're able to focus on yourself. Virgo, there's some type of epiphany that you had. Yeah, there's some type of epiphany or something that you had. The Page of Swords. Uh oh, Virgo. Yeah, so the Page of Swords. Now, I don't know what was said. I do not know what was done. But it kind of feels like there was something that you witnessed. There was something that you watched. There was something that was going on. Something that was happening. Again, like I said, I just kind of feel like with this Three of Cups, Virgo, it just kind of feels like you are making the decision to cut something off. You are making a decision to release this as you feel like it's just too much on you. Um, Like I said, you've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of evaluating, keeping your distance from certain things, keeping your distance from certain people. I don't know what you read. I don't know what happens, Virgo. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what comes in. But there's something. Um, again, like I said with this page of swords, I'm not sure if you read something. You have a feeling. You get an epiphany about this. I don't know if it has to do with a friend group, a third-party situation. But there's something that comes in. Some type of thinking. Some type of epiphany. It's like something goes off. Based off what you see or witness or, or read or what based off whatever comes towards you, based off whatever happens. And so now it kind of feels like with this Three of Cups, there's a change in energy. There's a change in the direction, a change in the people that are around. To clarify the page of swords. seven of cups there's some confusion that's being created in a situation i don't know if this is making you feel very emotional virgo like i don't know if you find yourself overwhelmed maybe you have a lot of tears maybe you're crying in the car maybe you're crying at work maybe you're crying when you by yourself you're like i don't know why i feel this way others of you i don't know if it's just that you feel that something is off it's not aligning with you it's not benefiting you but there is something with this seven of cups that seems to be creating confusion the Seven of Cups. So this energy is like, it, it, it makes you feel like it's off. I'm not sure if someone needs your support or assistance with something, but it throws your energy off. I don't know. It's like you kind of have this epiphany. There's something that you're not going to be doing. You're kind of deciding to free yourself from a situation. Yeah, because it makes you feel like it's off. I don't know. You could have had some things planned for today. It didn't go that way. Okay, but it's like you're getting this epiphany, you're, 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 you're getting this knowledge about something. And whatever it is, it makes you feel off, it makes you feel uneasy, it makes you feel like something isn't right. And so it almost feels like you don't really know if you should do something, you don't really know if you should, if it's going to work, if it's going to benefit you. 
And so it kind of feels like Virgo for what you are doing. It, it, it seems like you're, you're, you're trying to do something different, trying to do something new. But maybe with this new thing that you're trying to do, like I said, it, it doesn't benefit you the best. Or you may feel like you don't really reap the rewards or it's not paying off. Or it just creates a lot of confusion, a lot of turmoil with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, it creates an energy of confusion where you feel like you had so many options. You don't know what to pick. You don't know what to do. You don't know which way to go. But you're in this page of Pentacles energy. And so it's almost like go with the flow because you are going to be able to, to take something and turn it into a positive. So I don't know if you're necessarily releasing and letting go of something. As again, like I said, you may feel like it's not assisting you. It's not helping you. It's not benefiting you. And you decide to do something else. You're in this beginning energy. You're able to move forward, Virgo. You're the page of pentacles. You're learning. You're growing. You're wanting to do things differently. You can have this desire to do that. Okay, but maybe you feel like you don't know which way to go. There is this confusion. You're like, what do I do? Okay. But yeah, it's like spirit is like, just hold tight. I'm about to be helping you to release yourself from certain things. I'm about to be helping you to move forward. So I don't know if this had to do with the friend group, Virgo. Mm -hmm. But there is just something that you just feel doesn't align. It seems to mess up your energy, Virgo. Whatever this is, Virgo, I don't know what you read, what you witnessed, what this text message said, what happened in this voicemail, what came your way. But whatever this is, it seems to change your energy. Something definitely caused your energy to switch, Virgo. It caused it to change. Let's see what it was. Because all of a sudden now, it's like you don't really have anything to say. You don't really want to talk. You don't really want to speak up. Again, like I said, that Queen of Swords energy just kind of indicates that you just feel like something's not right you just feel like you have to speak up you have to or you should speak up you should stand your ground virgo what is happening what changes virgo's mood what changes your energy what is it okay so your energy has changed because you found out some information yeah you 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 you, you got the truth that intuition kicked in. Something happened after dark. I don't know what it was. The moon energy. I don't know if someone told you something. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You could have had some type of dream, vision. Something happened where you have all of the answers that you need to know. This could be your intuition. That's why I said this could be a vision. This could be a dream. This could be just something that you feel. But the, the, I wanted to cut, so I had to stop. But it's, it's adding up. It's making sense. Your mood is changing because you received some answers that you wasn't trying to receive. You're like, I didn't ask for this. And so now it leaves you feeling triggered, Virgo. Now it leaves you feeling like you need a minute. You don't really know how to process this. It leaves you feeling like you don't have energy to do, like deal with this or, or put up with this. Yeah, it just feels like it's a true test of your strength. You're tired. It triggers you. It brings up these emotions. It makes you want to be left alone. Now, what exactly did Virgo find out? Let's see if we can find out. But the moon, something happened. And Virgo, like I said, the moon, it's like you already know. You already have the answers. You already have the information. Something came to you, okay? Something came to you. Some information was revealed. Something was exposed. What did this have to do with Virgo's happiness? Virgo's stability? Virgo's abundance? So what was this, Virgo? Because you had the sun here. So the moon came or the moon happened because of the sun, because something was affecting your happiness, your stability, your personal world. It's like you was in a good mood or something was going on and then it changed. But you had the sun. That's what it has to do with your happiness, your fulfillment. What did Virgo find out? Your, 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 yes, your ability to be free. I don't know. Let's see. What did Virgo find out? Something about a past person, a family member, friend, a child could be involved. But there was something about the past that brings up this entire situation. It resurfaces with the Six of Cups. So there's this, this something happening, something coming back up, the sun. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't know uh, if you were moving forward with something, you were trying to do something, I don't know, but all of a sudden, there could have been an argument, or all of a sudden, you had a dream, all of a sudden, you felt this energy, and then it brings up, like, you get more answers than what you're wanting, and that truth could have been a little hurtful, 
that truth could have been a little shocking to you. Okay, so spirit, how would you like Virgo to proceed? What should Virgo do now? What should you do now? Take action to, to be a leader, to be in charge. Virgo, you have everything that you need. There's the king of wands. So there's something about taking some type of action, taking some type of initiative to be able to move forward. The king of wands, I don't know if there's somewhere you had to go, something you had to do. Literally, you could have to call someone. You could have to take some type of action. Um, but you are in charge, the king of wands. You're the leader. You're the boss. You run this entire thing, although you may feel like you do not. What did Virgo find out? Because this changed your whole mood. This day, this changed your whole mood. This changed your whole energy. This has something to do with the family situation. What did you find out? Something about this happiness. <clears throat> family member, friend, someone you were close to. Okay. But Virgo Spirit wants you to know that you are absolutely in charge. Okay? Um, you're the king of wands. So you are the boss. You are the leader. You are making shit happen. Now you may find that whatever you do is like people seem to follow you. Or you seem to have support. Or it seems to be okay. Or it just seems to work out for you. But you have this Ace of Pentacles, which absolutely indicates that whatever you're taking action towards at this point definitely feels more fulfilling to you. Definitely feels like it's a fresh start. What can Virgo expect? Yeah, Virgo, you have something coming here. It's a good thing. Um, yeah, what can Virgo expect? Yeah, it's like that was supposed to be this coming together energy. They were supposed to be this moving forward energy, but something happened in the past. And whatever this is that happened in the past, it seems to maybe now give you the answers that you need, or it seems to complete something. It seems to make sense now where things weren't making sense. And you're like, Spirit, why do you want me to know this? Why does Virgo need to know this? Because Virgo with that hangman, Spirit is asking you to remain positive. So just hold on, baby. You have something coming in. But why did Virgo need to know this? Why did this happen to Virgo? Um, Because your intuition, Virgo, the Queen of Cups. Because, I don't know, this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um... Because there could have been something that you felt. Why was this happening? The Queen of Cups. Because you're very giving. You're very caring. You're very intuitive. Why did this happen? Why did you need to know this? So that you can step out of your comfort zone to do something else. To do something new. Because you're very genuine. You're very giving. You're very compassionate. Maybe you may feel like you've had to set some boundaries or something. Why did this happen? The Fool. Because I don't know, someone tried to play. I don't know, Virgo, the fool. Yeah, someone did something to the Queen of Cups or the fool. They did something. And now they're having to come back to apologize. They're having to come back to reconcile. You're having to kind of accept it for what it is. But this is happiness. Spirit wants you to do something new. Spirit wants you to do something different. Because apparently, whatever this is, Virgo, it doesn't seem to be working like this. Okay, the Father Sword, someone is definitely apologetic. Trying to get um, others at, like to tell them what to do. Um, it's almost like in a way, Virgo, someone is embarrassed by something. It doesn't seem to be this um, this communication right now. It kind of feels like things are delayed. There's this hold up. Maybe you feel like someone doesn't care. Someone's not interested. Things are not going to be able to move forward. But that is false. Again, Spirit is asking you to remain positive because things are definitely going to be able to move forward. But I definitely see that you have to do something different. Spirit, something different like what? Something different like what? Because right now it's like there's a hold on communication. There's a wait for things to be able to move forward. But what should Virgo do? Something different like what? Your reading keeps saying that. I believe you hit the page, the page of Pentacles, the tower. So, Virgo, you should do something different like what? 
um, something different that helps you to be able to have a bit of stability, a bit of balance. The tower indicates that you should follow your own mind. There was something that unexpectedly is happening, okay, with this Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius. So you're having to step outside of your comfort zone to do something new because you have the tower. Something's unexpectedly happening. Something is unexpectedly going on, Virgo. Spirit, did this already happen? I was like, what is this? So you had to step outside your comfort zone to do something new because something was going on behind your back. So you had to make some type of decision because now you know what was really going on. Yeah, you know what was really happening. You know what was really being said, what was really being done. The seven of swords is the secrets coming out. Yes, Virgo, the moon, this information you definitely know. I don't know if someone was trying to hide something from you, Virgo, trying to keep it a secret. But with this Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, the two of swords, Virgo, kind of feels like there is a decision that's being made. Yes, yeah, someone here is making a decision. They feel like they have no other choice. But the tower where something's unexpectedly happening. Yeah, something's unexpectedly going on, baby. And I don't know if it causes you to feel a little overheated. It causes you to feel a little upset. But a decision is being made because you weren't prepared for this. You didn't see this coming. But now that this decision is made, you do have the magician, which looks like you're able to move forward. The energy is going to change. But this was a lot, Virgo. Spirit, if you had any advice for Virgo right now, what would you tell Virgo? This was a lot. I'm sorry, Virgo. What advice would you tell Virgo besides to be patient, knowing that things are going to change? What would you tell Virgo? To know that it's going to get better. You feel like you had to start over. You feel like you've wasted your time. You feel like you've wasted your energy. Um, you feel like you wasted your money. Your things haven't been moving. Things haven't been going. It's like I said, like you feel like you're at some type of loss. But spirit wants you to know whether this is health-wise, whether this is financial, whether this is a relationship. You are recovering. You are getting back to the side of yourself that feels good, Virgo. Things are going to get much better, okay? So the energy is going to change, okay? Because you could feel like maybe it's not. You could feel like, damn, I'm I'm overwhelmed. I'm tired of it being this way. I'm tired of it going this way. And it's causing you to be a little closed off, Virgo. It's kind of causing you to stay to yourself, that four of cups. It's like you could be wanting to open up. You could be wanting to express um, your emotions. But just based off everything that has happened, you may feel like you can't. You know, you may feel like it's very hard for you to be able to do this, very hard for you to be able to open up. Again, like I said, it's like you're kind of staying in this hermit mode where you kind of feel that you can protect your own feelings, where you feel that you can protect your own energy and protect your own space. But Virgo, you can come out of that. You don't have to be that way. But maybe that's just where you feel comfortable. I don't, I mean, if that's where you feel comfortable, I don't want to tell you what to do and what not to do. But it just kind of feels like, Virgo, you may feel like someone's childish. You know, you may feel like someone has a hard time expressing their emotions or they aren't talking about what needs to be talked about. They aren't discussing what needs to be discussed. It's like you just kind of aren't feeling something. The page of cups. Yeah, you could feel like someone's childish. You could feel like they're sabotaging this or messing this up on purpose. And again, like I said, Virgo, you're the emperor. You're in charge. You're, run, you're running the show. So you might not, it might just be that this energy and you don't match. It might just be that this energy and you have grown apart. Yeah, the king of pentacles, you may feel like someone's greedy, constantly unsatisfied, constantly asking for more, where it could be a much different energy. Just feels like it's not yet and it's turning you off because you feel like someone's lying, someone's not being honest. But it's like, Virgo, you're either deciding to make some decisions to return to some things and what you felt wasn't going to work. Maybe you're deciding to do that. Okay. And this of you, you have someone coming back in very quickly. But again, it's just kind of like, Virgo, you're just kind of like, ugh. You know, it's been a lot on your feelings, a lot on your emotions. You wasn't expecting this to happen. You wasn't expecting this to go this way. You weren't expecting to find this out. Yeah, and they're coming back, but you feel like it's been a betrayal. You know, your feelings are hurt. It's like the same thing every time. Although there's a lot of love here, Virgo, just in terms of being able to move forward, just in terms of being able to have what you want and how you want it, you may just feel like someone isn't on your level. You know, you may just feel like someone and you just don't want the same things.
So that could be something that you're deciding to, you know, keep your distance from, to have your own peace, to have your own balance, to heal. Looks like there's some healing that has to happen as well, Virgo. Four of Swords. Okay. But with that being said, thank you for rocking with a guy like me. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, Virgo, God bless.